Hey everyone, Witzer here, so this is gonna be part 3 of Insane Dungeons 1, so let's see how we are gonna do. As you saw in my last video of this, I was doing Insane Dungeon, I think it was 6, with one hero Anubis, and there was no way we could actually make it, so in this one I'm gonna use two heroes, because there was no point in doing it once again, we would never make it. So right here I'm gonna use Ronan as backup hero with Anubis together. So the main goal is killing all the heroes with Anubis and then using my Ronin to just add up the damage and we should be able to make it. I also have some choppers ready in case we need it. So it looks like we are killing the heroes right now. We are doing a lot of damage. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before the enemy heroes are down. Okay, so now it's time for running, I think. Gonna put the choppers on the stun tower first. And gonna use my running on the top side also to back up Anubis. So if you want to see Anubis soloing this, it was in my last episode, so feel free to watch. So here we have 10% right now. It's looking really promising. Ronan is so fast. And he's not even 8 of 8 war god, so... Once I roll a war god, I will definitely put it on him. But meanwhile, we are gonna have to keep the scatter. I don't think it's really bad for lost battlefields and such, so just gonna keep it, keep it right now. So we are in the middle, and now Ron is just gonna wreck all the walls, as you can see. It's funny how fast he's killing the walls. We have over 50%, this should be 100% without any problems. Still Anubis is tanking all the damage, so it's not that easy for him still. Still have to use Life Drain and the NG on him, otherwise he's gonna die. So here we have 72%, still over 1 minute left, so not bad. Really wondering how Insane Dungeon 2 is gonna be, because I know it's a lot harder, so it's gonna be really tricky. So we're gonna have to wait and see how that will go. Almost at 100% here, so not bad. And there we go, so the first one is down with two heroes. Now it's time for the Insane Dungeon 1 7. So let's start. I'm just gonna do one run with Anubis on his own. I'm gonna go from the top side, I think is the weakest weakest side, so I'm gonna have to stun this full area. And now the thing is Anubis has to kill all the enemy heroes as fast as possible. Now the Vlad isn't coming. Oh he ran away, that was really nice. So he's still going, the most of the heroes are almost dead, as you can see Vlad is doing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna have to put my shield down. Atlanticor isn't coming right now, so we just killed him before he was able to proc, so that went well, re that went really well also, so let's see, the, ah, the Moltanica is still alive, but not for long, so we have 7%. And I find the biggest problem with the troops here, if you deploy them, there's way too many stun towers. Your choppers are gonna die way too fast, so there is no really point in using troops in this stage. I mean for doing more damage. Of course you can distract troops and such, but... As you can see, I'm just gonna put them on the top side to prove you how fast they are gonna die. As you can see... They're trying to kill a tower, but it's taking forever, and they're almost down. As you can see, they die right now. So we have 15%. Anubis is doing his best on his own. 17. The problem is there are so many stun towers in this stage, so there is, it's just basically a matter of time before the, the time is gonna run out. So I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit, so 23%, we have a little bit over one minute left, as you can see, 
it's not really increasing the percentage so I don't think 50% is gonna work but it was a good attempt I think so 34% really impressed by this 36 I did try this a few times but I was never able to get to 50% so this is it so now I'm gonna do it with two heroes as you know I'm gonna use Ronin for this also and it should work so let's see how this is gonna go I'm gonna go from the top side once again As you can see, there's so many stun towers. Even on the right side alone, there's five really close together. So I'm gonna use Anubis right here, like we did in the last run. Just gonna pop running right away, because I know the Vlad is gonna come. I want to kill him as fast as possible. Look at the damage. I just zoomed it out so you can see the damage of, of running, how much area damage he's doing. So right now we are already at 90% so it's going really fast look at Ronan going for it and Anubis is tanking all the damage which is really tough to do I think because there's so many towers so I'm pretty happy with this how he can actually do this if he would die in five seconds even this challenge wouldn't work but He's doing his best to stay alive. So we have 58-60% already. Just gonna deploy the troops. Why not? Just to make it a little bit quicker. And we are at 76. And now Ronin is gonna go in and just wreck the other parts of the of the base. So I really hope you still like this series. But doing this with one hero, that's why I'm showing it each time, is not really possible. I wish it was. Maybe someday it will be with a different hero. Okay, so it's time for stage 1-8. I, I have never tree-flamed this. As you can see, I'm using all the heroes, but I won't use them all. I did this because it's Guild War Day, and I don't want to leave my base empty. So... Starting with the top side here with Anubis, I think this is the best way to start for him to stack up and kill everything. So I'm using the Doom also for doing area damage because otherwise there is no way we can get a lot percent because we are going to get stunned too often. So we are for 20 seconds in and we have 0%. Pretty sad. But the good part is we killed the heroes. Well, there's a few heroes left, but they shouldn't last long. As you can see, Anubis is not doing bad, but he's taking a lot of damage when he's not proccing, so... And I even put life drain on him. <clears throat> Sorry. But 10%, just going too slow. I did put my choppers on the top to kill the stun tower which they did so now we have 14 percent as you can see he's trying his best but he's stuck too often maybe if so, if there was a crest that you you are not stunned it could actually work so Anubis died and look at his health once again. It's almost down again. So There's no way But just showing you how it's done So we are 22% It's not really a bad attempt I would say Since he's clearing all the heroes on his own which is amazing since some of you probably know when you have only single evolved heroes how hard it is. So now it's time for two heroes once again. Gonna use those two again. Ronan and Anubis. Stunning the same area. Well, freezing. I'm just gonna wait till Anubis is killing the heroes before dropping my, my Ronan. 
almost. Okay, it's almost time for running. So this hero running is actually pretty special, I think. How he just engaging on every single base without anybody spotting him, which is really cool. So now it's time for running. Time to die. At my run is only 9 of 10 skills only, so look at the damage, pretty amazing. Plus he can't truly really be stunned because he's hiding always. Call him a hero or call him a cheater. <laughs> it's going really fast now, 40%. Because everything is stacked close together. It's not really gonna take long for Ronin to kill everything. So this will be stage 6, 7 and 8. In the other video I will do 9 and 10. And maybe I will try it in Saint Dungeon 2, 1. To see how it went. So we are 80%-ish. So I hope you enjoyed this and... Once again, thank you all for watching and I hope I will see you in the next episode of this. See you everyone and have a good day.